Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the first phase of India's BMD program has been completed, and a formal approval for the deployment of active systems is expected very soon. India has deployed two indigenous long-range radars as part of the program, and the specific systems will be deployed after the approval from the government. The BMD works on two levels, and while the first phase counters the incoming projectiles at the Indo-atmospheric level, the phase 2 deals in the exo-atmospheric level. India had tested a new exo-atmospheric interceptor named the Prithvi Defense Vehicle in 2017, which intercepted a projectile at an altitude of 100 kilometers. According to latest reports, after successful completion of 32 technical trials at sea, DRDO is gearing up to conduct the user evaluation trials of its advanced lightweight torpedo. The advanced lightweight torpedo weighs around 300 kilograms, and has an operational depth of 600 meters, and it can be launched from a naval ship, helicopter or from a fixed-wing aircraft. The RDO has confirmed that the developmental trial phase of the indigenous subsonic cruise system is officially over, and the DRDO has approached the Indian Army and Indian Navy, to come up with their own specific variant requirements, which will enable the system to enter production in the next three years. The Indian Navy has asked for a ship-based variant with a range in excess of 1,500 km, and could prefer a range close to 2,000 km, but the Indian Army has asked for greater range, and terrain hugging features along with additional navigational equipment, which can take more developmental time. According to latest reports, the Indian Navy has successfully carried out testing of the indigenous air droppable containers, developed by the Naval Science and Technological Laboratory. The containers have a capacity of up to 50 kilograms, and it can be air dropped to enhance Navy's operational logistics capability, thus increasing the duration of their deployment. The series production of the containers and parachutes would now be undertaken, and the product has a high export potential. According to latest reports, India is ready to start the flight tests of its first 400 kg thrust-class small turbofan engine, as a power plant for unmanned air vehicles targeted for subsonic applications. The gas turbine research establishment has developed six prototype engines with 95% indigenous components, and it tested the engine for maximum power setting for 90 minutes continuous operation, and it was also tested at minus 15 degrees Celsius. According to latest reports, the Indian technical teams have finished the installation work, to operationalize the chain of coastal surveillance radar systems in Maldives. The radar chain will be linked with similar systems in Mauritius, Sri Lanka, India and Seychelles, and will provide a comprehensive real-time feed of ship movements in the Indian Ocean region, which can be used by friendly navies. India has also set up an information fusion center in December 2018 for maritime awareness in the Indian Ocean region that will also share real-time information with friendly nations in the region. According to latest reports, Sri Lanka is conducting a naval exercise with the US near the Hambunitota port managed by China. Sri Lanka is demonstrating that it retains strategic control of its harbor, while the US brought its destroyers and maritime patrol aircraft in the Chinese managed port, to strategically counterbalance China's growing projection of military power and influence in the Indo-Pacific region.